First thing I want to ask you about is this office. This was Jean Drapeau's office. Presumably, Danny, you would have been able to choose pretty much any real estate in this building. Why this one? Because it's, it's, it's history, because it's legacy. These walls, you know, there's a soul in here. And I, you can feel it. And every time you're taking a decision, you say, my God, that guy who was sitting on that chair was the famous Jean Drapeau. What have you brought into this office yourself? Have you brought any pieces of memorabilia, any part? Nothing yet, but I had a magazine with uh, Ken Dryden's mask. Really? <laughs> so, okay. All right. It's going to be Habs, Halouettes, Impact, and Future Expos. So this, this will be... This is a sports room. It is, it was, will this become your man cave, so to speak, almost? In how often are you going to put sports on that TV over there? Uh, every time there's a game and I'm here. I always like sports. Uh, I was a fan of the Habs, of course. I like Bobby Hoare a lot. And uh, every can time... You, can you admit that in this city? Oh. I mean, there are a lot of Bruins. No, Bobby was great. No, no, I'm against the Bruins. You know, I was a big fan of Guy Lafleur. I remember uh, Jean Beliveau, uh, the, famous, the famous goal of Henri Richard against the Blackhawks. Well, let's rewind a little bit first to baseball. Your first ball game. Now, you're 10 years old when you moved to Montreal. Yep. So, we're t the Expo still have a couple more years of Jerry Park. Did you get I'm get there, Did of you course. see the Jerry? Well, we all love the rusty stuff, but I have, I don't know, I have something for Coco. Coco was... <laughs> <laughs> something because else. Of the name or Bob Belly. No, he was like, and uh, you know what the greatest things I always remember going downstairs and, uh, you know, it, it was our team. They were coming to us. That's, that sense of community was amazing. How old were you when you saw your first ball game at Jerry? I think I was six. Okay. Six. Right, so you would have come in then from, from out of town to see that. Yeah. In your heart, Danny, yeah. do you think that baseball is coming back to yes. the city? Yes. I'm sure of that because uh, I still have, and maybe I'm wrong, but I still have that feeling that in uh, 2004, and as a matter of fact, after the fire sale in 94, we didn't, we didn't do what we had to do to save it. In, in the 80s, we were two million. Yeah. I, mean, I hated Willie Stargell, but gosh, we had great games when the Pirates came to town. You know why I'm saying that it, it, it's possible and it will work? We've got to be responsible. Everybody, you know, we have to connect the dots. You don't negotiate in public. Uh, there's ways to uh, talk to the uh, Major League Baseball. We, I understand all that. But deep in my heart, and it's, it's not with my pink uh, glasses, when the kid passed away and I made that uh, tribute at the House of Commons, and I saw the reaction of the people through social media, the fact that uh, everybody connected. And uh, look what happened this weekend, to see that it was not just like the good old days and just certain generation who were there. All the kids, all the youth, everybody that identified it. You felt the ownership, you felt that something was going on. Yeah. I said, it will take the time that it will take. We will do what's right. But this town is a baseball town. This town is a professional sports metropolis. Canadians have made the playoffs less than five yep. months after you took office. How much credit <laughs> can you take for that? None. <laughs> <laughs> I just take credit for tweets, not, <laughs> not for office. This is important because this is outreach, because I love that spontaneous way. I, I create my own hashtag. I think uh, when Alec, it was the, the, the question at that time was Alec or Price, remember? And we made the series. And when we lost against uh, Philadelphia. And during that time, I started that hashtag, uh, AppsDC for the Nicodai. Yeah. I like to share with people. I mean, social media, I mean, it's a media, but it's social. It's had to be a dialogue. Mm -hmm. If it's an infomercial, I mean, people will change channel and they won't care. You have to be for real, you have to connect. You have to live with what you're writing. You have to, you know, and you just share. And that's you, it. You brought me to I know. your most famous. I know. Yeah, you knew we were going there. Of course. Um, November 10th, a week <laughs> after you were elected to this office, three days before you're sworn in, you tweet of a badly slumping David Darnay. Hello, and yes, Sam, for Hamilton, for David Darnay. Yep. With Habs DC on the end. Did you expect the firestorm that followed that? No, I'm a fan. People are... Uh, it was kind of funny that I was recuperating. And then, of course, we all know what happened. Josh and... 
and Max, Max and uh, Michel and Bergevin and all that. Okay, guys, I just it was I I I helped to get unfocused on something, but clearly I'm a fan and that's it. And uh, it's it's over now. But uh, I'm I'm really pleased. I I like David. And Have you uh, spoken to David? I didn't talk to him. I, I should. I about, didn't talk to him. How about the other guys? Uh, Max and Josh were upset, mm. and Terry I said it was inappropriate. Um, I mean, it's okay. It's I mean, got to get over it. But uh, to be honest, okay, I got to refrain. I got to be careful. I know. But uh, I'm myself. I'm just a fan. I mean, all those cartoons about me, uh, we, we always add a Habs, you know, logo yeah. so no, no i spoke to jeff and all the other it was okay it was it was good it was just a pure emotion let's put it this way but the beauty of it out of it even if it was against me that we're talking to see the solidarity of uh, of them all talking together and i know that max uh, and and uh, david are really really close and Yes. Just get together, and it's probably one of the greatest line after uh, the All Star game. And look what they're doing. And those guys will be ready for the series. I've just named you Mark Bergevin. Do you resign Andre Markov? I resign Markov. I do everything to keep Vanek. As mayor, can you can you just go and want me to tweet it? No, <laughs> I'm on the can air. You, can you actually? Could you talk to <laughs> the Canadians? Could you actually go in and make a personal pitch? To Thomas Vanek, or is that is that totally out of bounds? Any fans, you know that was funny because any fans can give their mind piece of their mind, and, and you know just watch or listen to all those uh, open lines. Every time I, I have an, an opportunity I, I, to everybody, I, I'm not hiding it. I, I don't I don't have any impact, but uh, just as the fan in me will always say uh, what he thinks and what he loves. I think Vanek is an amazing guy, and that uh, he finds his new. It's a it's a, rebor a rebirth with uh, with uh, Pacioretty and 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 the Arne. We have a great team. I, I'm telling you, we have all what it takes, all what it takes. And uh, sometimes we have to be patient. Some, but uh, I really love that team.